Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the previous videos, we have learned about epsilon net and we have also seen what is total boundedness. So here we shall discuss that total boundedness, it implies boundedness. So let's see how this happens, right? So how total boundedness implies boundedness. So that is quite obvious. If you look at the definition for total boundedness, what was that? It suggests that for any set, for any set B, right? For any set B, if we, ca we if we are able to define a finite epsilon net, in that case, we call that set to be total bounded, right? So using this definition, we can then say it is also bounded because now we can cover this set finitely using very small circles. So suppose this is your sum set B, right? And within this set, if it has some finite number of points such that when you create circles around all of these points, so uh, of radius epsilon, which is some positive quantity greater than zero, right? So that the union of all these circles would cover this set. And if this, uh, these points, they are finite in number, we say that to be total, the set to be totally bounded. So in this case, B would be totally bounded. And now, obviously, you can see from here that the set B is also bounded because uh, it is finite in nature, right? However, the converse in this case generally do not hold. How this is true? So we can see this through an example. Suppose we take a closed unit ball. So that means we, uh, we take the point origin and we take all the points within this disk or ball if we are in three dimension. So within this ball, which is having radius as one, right? So all the, uh, those X's whose norm is less than equal to one is contained in this closed unit ball. And also this is a member of the space L2. So what is this space L2? That is the infinite dimensional space that we already know. So in this case, the set U is bounded, there is no problem. Why? Because all the elements, they have norm less than equal to one, right? So this one forms the bound for the set U. However, this set U is not totally bounded. How? So we can see this through a theorem or the result which we have learned. So this says, if a normed space X has the property that the closed unit ball which is given by M is compact, then X has to be finite dimensional. So in this case, because our space L2 that is infinite dimensional and complete, so the set U, this set U, this cannot be com compact. And if this cannot be compact, therefore it is not totally bounded, right? Because uh, compactness implies total boundedness. So we can say U is not totally bounded because it is not compact. And we can, uh, we have this result using this theorem, which uh, give, which provide us the properties for the uh, total boundedness. So here we can use this result over here. So I think you got this result. It says that every totally bounded set is bounded. However, the converse is not true. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.